Solid job by the coverage team to bring him down at the 16. First down here for this offense. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Wasting no time. He's going to go deep on the first play. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. They make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the 28. Nice run here by this Wisconsin running back to pick up the first down, and you love to see Wisconsin when they could run the ball. Think about, Chris, the embarrassment of riches that the Badgers have had over the years. Monty Ball and Melvin Gordon and Jonathan. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's dropped right off his hands. A chance for a big play, but a little early nerves on the part of that receiver. So, second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke. Looking for his big tight end. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And the Badgers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Here comes the jet sweep, trying to run it to the edge. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. And the Badgers hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. It's a quick grab. And he scores. Touchdown, Badgers. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And it's 7-0 after the BAT. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And from deep in the end zone, he'll bring it out. Set it down to the offense. First down. He'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. Downfield shot. Balls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. I love how this quarterback, Chris, is able to keep this play alive by scrambling away from that pressure, getting to his left, buying some time, just unable to connect to his receiver downfield. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. Here comes.
comes the up-tempo offense. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And here comes a deep shot. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Off the RPO, caught to the right. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make... Got space, looking to score. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, bus. Chris, this is exactly why it's so tough to defend this offense, and especially this quarterback. He can throw the football, but we can see here, this guy's ability to run the option, he can pitch it, or in this case, run it, keep it himself, put six points up on the board. Arnold set up for the PAT. And he knocks it right through. Now they get set to kick it away. Kickoff return starting just inside the 30. Tackle is made at the 38. That's a good kick return. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Defense makes the tackle as the final seconds of this first quarter run out. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. To throw, it's Van Dyke. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Has the first down and more. They bring him down, but that game moves the ball all the way to the 31. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Now run it here. That's the running back with the ball. It's a strong stiff arm. Really solid first down game. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. We'll take a quick pause before the half as we reach the two-minute warning. Come to the line for second down and very short now. Quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Second down, we're going to throw it. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Can he get there on the ground? And the Badgers will try to keep this drive moving. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Looking to throw it from the red zone. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Doesn't quite get in, but it sucks up a first and goal for this offense. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. And the Badgers will line up here on first down and goal. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And he powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. 
This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. The PAT is good. They go up a touchdown, 14-7. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from deep in the end zone. He's brought down at the 16. He would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Breaking free at the 35. Oh, and now he fumbles the ball. And the ball will bounce out of bounds, so they avoid the turnover. The first and ten play coming up for the offense. Back to throw. It's Sanders. He'll take a deep shot. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Buffaloes. So after the momentum shifts, Kirk, we are now dead even in this football game. Chris, doesn't it have that feeling that which quarterback's going to have the ball last is going to be the offense and the guy that has a chance to win this game may be going back and forth all game. And he knocks the PAT right down the middle. The PAT ties the game here in the second quarter now. And it's a squid kick taken by one of the up men. Tackle is made at the 38. That's a good kick return. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. You have a shootout developing here. Each offense scoring touchdown in their last possession. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Spins away from defenders. Solid gain moves the ball to the 43. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. And the encroachment penalty moves the ball up a little bit. Second down play coming up for this offense. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. He slings this one deep down the left side. Only oh, doesn't hang on off the deflection there. He's going to bring up a third down play. See if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. On third and short, they try to pick it up on the ground. Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. First down, clock stops for a moment, but no huddle here. They've got to hurry. Scanning the field, it's Van Dyke. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And it's picked off. He throws it right into double coverage and pays for it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Well, I feel like the quarterback just stared down his intended target, brought that safety who's sitting back in cover two right over to make that interception. I'm putting that one on the quarterback. Trying to create outside the pocket now. The freshman's able to get home with a sack. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. Just time enough for one more play in the half. Corner is back up now, playing a couple yards off the ball. He's looking deep here. 
and it's incomplete. Tried for a big play there as time runs out in the first half. And the Badgers will kick this away to get the second half going. Bringing it out, it's Hunter. Makes it to the 16, that's good coverage there. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. And they get the second half started with their running play. They can't slow him down. Good enough for the first down with 37. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps. Oh, and he breaks free! It's a foot race! He's worked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. So first down and five after the penalty. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. That's a big game deep into plus territory. They'll spot it near the 30. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and a quarterback makes them pay for it. On first and 10, looking to throw. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. Caught quickly. Brought down very quickly. Not much to show for that completion. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. And this quarterback is a stud. I, I looked at him all week and thought he had a chance to light up the scoreboard. But if the defense can put that kind of pressure on him, that's how you slow him down today. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And the punt head's out of bounds, taking a dangerous returner out of play here. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. First play of the drive, he looks left for a completion. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. Early movement there will cost the offense five yards. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Pass caught. Can he get in? Touchdown, Badgers. And they go in front here in the second half. Number six. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. PAT puts him in front by seven. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hunter. And they stop him at the 11. Not good field position to start the drive. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. They came up empty on the last position, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. 
Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. And the Buffaloes looking to run some tempo here. To the air, it's Sanders. Looking for his big tight end. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. To come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Throws to the tight end. And it's incomplete again. Fourth down coming up. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Fires it to the wide out. Pass is broken up. Turnover on downs. What a stop. I really thought that this was going to work out, showing an aggressive approach here, going for it on fourth down. Looked to be there. They just weren't able to complete it. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. Man, you got to love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. It's incomplete that was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Big throw misses his mark there, incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Bringing it out, it's Hunter. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. Remember, that last possession went for a fourth down and got stopped, ended up costing them a field goal. Catch made way downfield. That's going to help the stats a little bit, but won't make a difference in the outcome. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. Not a long kickoff, fielded just inside the 25. He's brought down at the 37 after a strong return. This should be the last play of the quarter coming up. First down, we're going to throw the football. Running back has it on the screen now. Defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Wisconsin, 24, Colorado. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. And they'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay, holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Makes a quick round. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. How about that play call here, Chris? I mean, I'm thinking they're going to run the football and continue to work this clock. This gives you an idea how much confidence they have in their passing game and this quarterback being able to throw the football with the lead in the fourth quarter, completion, and you're able to keep that clock moving. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. And the Badgers getting set on first and ten. 
Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. And someone moved this a bit too early. That will cost him five yards. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Offense getting set. It's second down. Back to pass. It's Van Dyke. And he lofts it toward the sideline. They try a downfield shot. It's a good effort there. But now it's third down. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When a quarterback drops back and throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. Looking to throw it on third. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And from deep in the end zone, he'll bring it out. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The defense makes some adjustments. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. That one is incomplete. Took a downfield shot on first down, but missed it. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Second down after the incompletion. Back to throw. It's Sanders. The quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. They get him down quickly. Not much of a gain on that completion. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. So the offense retains possession and avoids a catastrophic turnover. Well, the offense catches a break here. Lucky to jump on the ball after coughing it up. He's lucky that his other teammates had some good awareness. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him five yards. So the delay of game brings the offense even closer to its own end zone. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Trying for a fourth down completion. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Oh, the ball's knocked loose. It's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Boy, a lot happened right there. Good job of coming up with that interception. I thought he was off to the races and had a chance for big yards, only to lose the football. He's very fortunate one of his teammates hopped on that football, so they still get the turnover. And the freshman brings him down quickly. And a timeout is taken just two seconds left on the clock. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback pre-snap adjustments now for this defense. Scanning the field. It's Van Dyke. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Badgers. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ballgame. 
Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage. Because right now, it is not 